Hey guys, my name's Mark and today I'm going to show you how to do a dodge and burn effect to your photo or image in three steps. So step one, as you can see here, our image is open and sitting as the background layer. First thing we'll do is go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and do a curves adjustment layer. Now call this one dodge and hit OK. And what we're going to do with this line here is we're going to drag it towards the top corner here. Just making our image a little bit brighter. All right, we can go back to layers again and we can do the exact same thing again. So layer, new adjustment layer and curves. And we'll call this one the opposite. So we'll go burn, hit OK again. And we're gonna drag it the opposite way. We're gonna make it darker. So drag it towards the right corner here. And that should do it right there. All right, back to layers again. And next thing we're gonna do is paint our layer masks black. So to do that, simply hit Command Backspace, so long as your background color here is black. And the same for the burn layer, Command Backspace, and that looks good. Okay, step number two, we're gonna grab the brush tool. So hit B on your keyboard, or simply grab it over here. And we're gonna choose a harder brush here, and about 30 pixels would do for me. Now the way this works is, whatever you paint onto these layer masks, will effectively turn into the burn or the dodge. So as you can see here, we've got the burn selected. So we're gonna simply paint on some burn onto our image, like so. And as you can see here, it's creating these dark lines. Now play around with this. It hasn't gotta be perfect, obviously, and you can always go back and experiment with it. So have some fun. Let's do the same for the dodge layer as well. So we're gonna paint on some random light parts to the image the forehead, maybe the nose and the cheeks. Once again, it's all experimental, so play around with it till you're happy with your final result. So now it's step number three. We're gonna click on our layer mask here, go up to properties and grab the feather slider and just drag it, drag it and increase the feather. Looks pretty good there. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the burn layer mask as well. So grab that one back to properties and let's boost the feather. And just increase it until you are happy with the result. Now if you aren't happy with your final result, you can always go back and, and make your brush black and then paint on your layer masks to remove the burn or the dodge, depending on how you like it. Or you can also just go ahead and delete those adjustment layers and redo them again. That's how easy it is to burn and dodge in Photoshop without affecting your original image. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.